okay, so once we get here, we've got the extreme on it, so if the extreme don't pull it up, I don't know what we're going to do. Ooh, go on so. <laughs> What is it? It's too, I need Steve on it with me. Steve, you bring your magnet down, bro. Okay guys, so we've come to the royal town of Windsor. Just here we've got Windsor Castle. Just over there we've got Eton, where all the royals went to school. And we've got some special guests with us going by my hat. So, I'm going to take you around and introduce you to everybody. You've probably seen them before. So I've had a couple of casts already guys. And this is my second pull of the day. And already we've got an old World War II knife look. It looks like an old antler handle. So I'm pleased with that. Pop that there. I've also had a little tiny fishing lure. Don't know if you can see that guys. And we've got something here. I'm not sure what this is. It's painted red and white. It could be a scaffolding tag actually, but uh, I think that needs to go back for a clean up. But as you can see, there's a lot of small bits and pieces in here. There's a lot of history in here as well. We're literally at the footsteps. That's interesting. Have that looked at. We've got an old battery there. Oh, nice old boat up there. One of the early 1800s, late 1800s boat hook. As you can see, look, Marie's showing uh, Nicola White a few bits and pieces. Nicola White's going to have a go at magnet fishing with us shortly, make a change from mudlarking for her. Oh, we've got something on here. That's a bit heavy duty. Possibly off the old bridge, that. And oh, look, we've got another one of those. We've got a spark plug. And we've got the second one of these. Interesting. safety deposit box. That? It's the lock off a safety deposit box. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's been naughty around here. 
So as you can see, Marie's found a nice little set of calipers, like the ones I found last week. I also had a set of these last time I was here, about two years ago. They are. They clean up nice, they do as well. They do clean up really well. What we got? Oh, that's interesting. Very heavy. Oh my lord! Interesting though, isn't it? Looks like it might. Um, I think it's. Good. I think it's, it might have been used as an anchor at some think point. So it's quite nice, isn't it? I don't know with that, that could do with going back. Mm -hmm. It looks like an old needle of some kind. That's all right, look at it, like the way the I'm wondering if it's a, le a leather worker's needle or something like that. that looks really rather nice, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Because that's... Well pointed that, was, that was a full eye. I think that's an old leather worker's needle. Oh. From a saddlery or something oh, yeah, like look that. Look at that in, in there. Yeah. Look at that, Nicola. That's an interesting piece to go yeah. back that. Yeah. So, so you'd be able to clean that off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. Interesting one that. Victorian gate latch. Oh. Yeah. Wow. And that is one of the tines off of one of the old dredges. Possible little bag seal. Ooh. Possible. Oh yes. I have had seals from here before. Uh -huh. I'll get that cleaned up. Oh yeah. Nice. Will you do electrolysis on it? Like how will you clean it? You Glenn does all our cleaning up. Right. And then because uh, he really goes to town, he, he hates little bits of crud passing him by because we found some of our best well, finds in the chunky bits. Right. Yeah, of so he'll really go to town on that. A little bag seal, maybe. Is it, uh, it should come up on the magnet because it wouldn't be it wouldn't be magnet if it was lead, would it? Not if it was lead, no. But you sometimes get metal ones, don't you? I've never seen a metal one. Have you not? No. Well, you can clean it anyway. He's struggling that one. It is, isn't it? Well, that's a meat. That's an old meat hook. That for hauling hauling meat and ice and things. World War Two belt buckle or webbing buckle. It could actually be part of a cannonball mould. Yeah. It's a mould of some sort because it's got it's got the size of number yeah, six inside it. Like That's an interesting piece that. I think you should keep that. Oh yes, we will be keeping that. That's a piece of history that. So down here. We've got the one and only Simon. 
Simon's doing a video, so I'll go past him at the moment. We've got, we've got Nicola White. Hello. There we go. Hello. Look at the channel, guys. She's amazing. And thank you for joining us today. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. Um, I've it, got a very large lump of metal down there. Very large, look. Oh, yes. It's very heavy. That will clean up really nice luckily, once all that's dried out. Yeah, luckily Mike um, was able to pull it out for me. And you've got a, I don't know if that's off an old bridge or something there as well. Well, that is um, what Rusty pulled out there. He's got a few bits there, look. Oh, that's it. All right, I'll go yeah. over to it. Oh, he's got a buckle. He has. I've spotted it. a buckle. He's got a knife. He's got like a... Oh, a, yes, antler. An antler knife. Antler that's nice. Knife. Don't make knives like that now, more, do they? No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nicola. My pleasure. And uh, I'll go across here then, I'll show some of Rusty's finds because he hasn't been down yet. So we've got this, that looks more like, oh it is a buckle yeah. It does look like the old army webbing as well but we'll have a look at that. And we've got this thing, that is a um, hay baling tool. So that's quite early. Actually, it's not as early as I thought because it's been made with wrought iron. Um, rebar there guys, so that can't be too old. Then Rusty's found this knife look. It's got a handle handle that Nicholas just showed. Some kind of key. And you and here's Rusty look! Hello, look what I've just got. Can you stop nicking Nicola off us? <laughs> <laughs> oh! What do you think that could be? That could section. be a white mould. That's what I'm thinking, or a cannonball mould. Yeah. It's not magic, it's not heavy duty enough to be a cannonball mould. But it's got the number six written inside it. Oh, that is different, bro. That is different. And I've also had... Look, I've just showed all them. Yeah, my knee took, my knife. I've got, I, I got the beautiful Nicola to show off a few of these items. Oh, is she claiming my fine? Well, she's better looking than you, so <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd put her on the camera before you, Steve. <laughs> no, that's an interesting one. That, that is, that is different, isn't it, bro? I don't know, this is going to go back for some research. Ooh, it looks ooh, like a mould of some kind. It's either a white mould, or it could even be a cannonball mould. Yeah, wow, that's for nice. lead shot. For lead shot, really yeah. Nice. So that'll go back for a clean up, for sure. Yeah, definitely that. Pleased with that. It could have a, it could have one of the royal names on the on the front of it somewhere, Steve. Ooh, <laughs> I doubt it, but definitely going back for clean on that one. Definitely. Good on you, brother. I'll go and get Simon on. So we've got um, we've got Simon with us today. Yeah, it moves nicely. Hello, mate. You alright? Got a bit of crud there. There we go. <laughs> Might be a knife handle. You never know. Well, I think it could be actually know, going by the shape of that. Saying that, it looks like it might be in a bit of wood, so it might just be a nail. But yeah, yeah. The, old, the old police store was used to. Um, Log like, subscribe to uh, Sorry Finds on his channel. Here's Mike having his coffee. Good morning, all. There he is. Welcome to Windsor. Your missus just bought me a coffee down. I've walked back up <laughs> down there by Nicola, so I better go and get it, hadn't I? So yeah, we're on the beautiful part of the Thames today. Uh, we get, we're peaking a lot of interest, as you can see, so that's good. Um, I've left my coffee here, and I'm going to get it before Nicola White nicks it. <laughs> I hope it's Mike. You haven't had one of your uh, Nicola. Have you had a coffee? No, I'll, I'll have one later. I'm good at the moment. Right, okay. I didn't want to pick it up, and it was yours, like. <laughs> That for a small padlock, it's the smallest padlock I've ever seen. Beautiful. Little bait cage. Good morning, guys. Lovely day in Windsor. Beautiful. Just found this little button. So we'll give that a clean later and see what it's about. I've just got a pair of old uh, pool employers, I think that's it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what they are. Adjustable spanners, or yeah. But um, yeah, and look, a little hammerhead. Oh, beautiful. I love it. Good morning, guys. Right, we've got a nice little padlock there. 
which I'm really happy about. I love cleaning these up. I love my keys and padlock, so I'm pleased with that, yeah. Very nice. <laughs> nice one. Thank you. <laughs> right, that's a World War One. It's called a World War One pigtail, I think. It's used for the in the barbed wire for the stakes. So yeah, and a beautiful padlock. A World War I pigtail, better known as a screw picket, is a type of ground anchor used by soldiers during World War I to secure fortifications. Its corkscrew design allowed it to be easily twisted into the ground, providing a stable anchor for barbed wire, sandbags and other defensive structures. The design made it quicker and more efficient to install than traditional wooden stakes, significantly aiding soldiers in fortifying their positions on the battlefield. The screw picket remains largely overlooked in the annals of history, but this humble tool played a vital role amid the chaos of war. I've pulled out a padlock, it's quite a modern padlock, and pulled out a foil. Oh, it's a bit bent on the end. <laughs> can't say I've ever seen one that's got a bend on the end, but, but it's uh, too exact to be done in the water, so. It must be barking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that real or not? Oh! Is that a fish? It's real. Huh? That's real. Fish, I think it was. He was wedged. He was wedged in between that stone and the magnet. <laughs> then Percy moved the magnet. It started with the number of yikes, anything that we'd all. You know, very popular. Oh no, oh no. I know, like anything that we'd all. Oh my god. Oh, that was promising. Oh, that's a I think I need to brush up on my magnet fishing skills. Right, guys, I found a costume jewelry bangle. And yeah, but I've got no writing on that one. Oh. Some more house keys. Yeah. I've just been checking my crud. And inside the crud, I've just pulled up a little disc. I don't know what it is, but I think I need to take it home and give it a clean. As you can see, there's a little hole there. And there's a little one there at the side. So I definitely need to take that and give it a clean. We've got an old shoe. And so I've been told. Across the river here used to be an old Civil War bridge. Uh, so, yeah, some nice little old shoes coming up. I'll give these to Alison because I don't collect them no more. We want we to we find the river. So, yeah, we the river side. That's a big lock. Are you making it fishing? Yeah. Yeah, have you found anything? Just found that ring, but uh, yeah, we think it's uh, off the side of the wall because there's some mooring pins down. Well, mooring rings down there. So yeah, it's just one of those. Yeah. I've got a piece of bar, guys, and I've got. That there is an offering. See? Oh, yes. An old square nail. It's just sold it up and sold them. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, that would have gone onto a, a, a necklace. That would have gone onto a necklace and the prayer would have been inside. Sorry. <laughs> a lovely little old show for Alison. <laughs> and an old key. And uh, one of them, we pulled about five of them out so far, we don't know what that is. Yeah, okay. Well, 
I've just pulled that out and we don't have any idea. <laughs> so things like that we always take back and just try to check um, to see what they are. So yeah, I'm going to take that back. After I've been doing some research, I've actually found out that it was a rat tail handle to a frying pan from the 1640s British Civil War. What an amazing little find. May not not be something brilliant, but it don't matter how insignificant it is, it's still a piece of history. <laughs> Well, boy. Do you want choo choo at all? Sorry? Do you want choo choo? Oh, no, no, ring. Yeah, Keep that. Yeah, you too. What's that? Yeah, Peaky pee dippers. You can have that if you want to. Got a handle there, look. It's off a, one of my old folding drawers, I think. Well, oh, I'm over the moon because, as you've seen from Boy Windsor Castle, but look, look at that for an old key. Absolutely beautiful. So, Glenn will be gentle with that and he'll, he'll get off all the crud and clean that up. And then, you know, we'll show you. Beautiful. Look at a nice little old ship. There you go. Windsor Castle, situated just behind us, is the oldest and largest occupied castle in the world. Built by William the Conqueror in the 11th century, Windsor Castle has since been home to 40 monarchs, each shaping the building to their own tastes and needs, and is home to a suit of armour belonging to the larger-than-life King Henry VIII. Today, Windsor Castle is one of the world's few remaining working royal palaces, and is visited by people from all over the world, telling the story of a thousand years of British royal history. Like a, I think a bolt a, stove or something. I was going to say it looks like a, an oven door off yeah. for, for a bolt. It's not too. It's it's not rock hard. Every so on site off a safe. Probably more off in front of a cooker or something. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not one of them. I've not got a clue what the four guys. I'm on fire watch duty. Got a full fire extinguisher. It's still full of all. You know what it is? Because you're hot, man. It is. You're fire. <laughs> <laughs> I've got another piece of buckshot. That's about the third one I've got now. Another bangle. I don't 
got a 10 pence, so I'll go in the charity box. Okay, so I'm on something heavy here, we've got the extreme on it, so if the extreme don't pull it up, I don't know what we're going to do. Ooh, <laughs> What is it? It's too I need Steve on it with me. Steve! You bring your magnet down, bro! Yeah. That shows how uh, strong that magnet is. Yeah, so I... that's the old extreme, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It is pretty extreme. Yeah. And that is one big weight. Yeah. See what do you you've, been, you've been waiting a while to Such find a that. Thing I've been waiting quite a while. Look at that. I've been waiting about. <laughs> yes! Have you got one? <laughs> there we go guys, another bow plaque, 1924, so that's uh, 100 years old dead on. Oh look, look at this one. That's a bow plaque. So we've got a padlock. Oh, it's a one eye handle there, look. Cast iron. That's different. It's got a handle. Uh, I don't know what that is. We've got reminds of an old knife, that would have gone into the handle, that's the knife. We've got a lovely little cute padlock. I don't think it's mega old, but the devil's look, see if I can see you, Alison. Where I can't, it's not too small. <laughs> yeah, up now, boot. And uh, uh boat plaque 1932. Nice. So I've been missing all my parcels coming to my door because the doorbell has lost its battery on my door. And I've just found the damn battery. But that's not gonna work, is it? Oh hello one curse if you don't mind. Thank you. We've got an old hook on a piece of chain there guys. So I can come to Steve. Tell them what it is. <laughs> Tell them what it is, Steve. Come on. It's a square fan. And a bit of boy cream. I've got one of the more rings, guys. Oh, cool. Hey, you got to cut there. Hey. Oh, it's just the one I want to do, isn't it? There you go, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're a sign as well. A knife. Anglo-Saxon sword.
There you go, that's what I'm <laughs> Just open it out. So. Many rivers to cross. I don't know. The words to the end. Any change? <laughs> <laughs> Paper money? Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> we, we didn't get a penny. <laughs> yeah, we found a few. Yeah. So, we've come to the end of the day guys, we're all sweeping up and scraps going, the scrap man's going to meet, well, come and collect you from that street, the other pole's gone, there's the Thames, there's Eaton out over the back, and, I've good boy, huh? I've, eaten I've not eaten nothing yet, uh, have you, have you an Eaton mess, ooh, promises, so, promises. promises, promises bro, <laughs> so a big, uh, amazing to meet Nicola again. The beautiful, the wonderful, amazing Nicola White. So I go across to her channel. <laughs> Simon, anyway, yeah, Simon, we've got Simon uh, Sci Finds on YouTube as well. Go and like it and subscribe to him. Amazing, awesome. Amazing, fantastic. Fan awesome, handsome, amazing bloke <laughs> that he is. <laughs> and then we've got Marie. It's bright, and then we've got, <laughs> <laughs> we got Marie. Oh, shock horror, she's eating the cake again. It's Marie. Bright. Yeah, uh, we've got Alison eating a cake. We've got Rusty. Me no got no cake. He got no cake. <laughs> and there's Kirsty. And uh, I think that's everybody, isn't it? Yeah. So, thank you. I've done Michael. Oh, have you? Yeah, we was on about eating messes. Yeah, but he's that good, you've got to do him twice. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye, Michael. Goodbye, Michael. And a goodbye from the Thames. And uh, I can't wait to get down here again because the Thames is amazing. But it just, we've had some bits, so I'm happy. Have you got find of a day? Nicola. Nicola. Did I? Yes. yes. I, mean, oh, I don't know. The key, key was the key good. Key cool. My two favourite finds of the day, Nicola's bow plaque, because it was a fine, and Marie's key. Yeah. There you go. That's a draw. I think I'm on a level. But if I found them two items, I'd be happy with them. Yeah. So, a big <laughs> goodbye to everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. I don't know what she's laughing at. I'm having a cake <laughs> The Finds Roundup. Hello everybody and welcome to the premiere again. And as you've seen by the video, we met up with the amazing Simon Bourne, Sorry Finds, and the amazing Nicola White. Go and look at their channels guys on YouTube. Nicola White, um, Tideline, Tideline Arts, um, and Sorry Finds obviously. Brilliant people, they really enjoyed the day of us. Uh, we found some bits and bobs, and uh, I've actually been cleaning up today, and I found another little surprise, Marie. I know. So, which will be on the end of the video in a minute, bear with me. So, I'm going to show you what we've got um, in no particular order, and then we're going to have a look. So, found a little bit of costume jewellery, just an old Asian bangle, magnetic obviously, so. Not silver. Then we found this. I did bring this back just in case, but it has got a thread on the bottom of here, and that would have been into the concrete or the wood. It's basically just like a, a hook. So it's quite old, but it's not not what I was thinking it was. I was thinking it might have been a nice big buckle, but it's very big. We've also got just a ring off um, some keys. Modern, modern stuff. We've got another ring, an iron ring. Now, this could be off bridal stuff for horses. It's about the right size for a strap to go through or for a piece of metal to be attached. So, about the right size. So, there we go. So, another little piece of history. I found the remains of a buckle, but it's a bit far gone, unfortunately. That's a shame. You know. I am looking out for buckles now because some of them really like clean up nice and them are Yeah. And some of them are quite old as well, aren't they? Yeah. Now, we think this might be the handle mount um, that goes onto a bucket and the bucket handle comes off. But, I don't know, it just seems a bit different to the other ones, but... It does look like one though. It does look like one, yeah. I'd say it's some kind of mount for the bucket handle. There's a bad luck. No, Little it's... squire, probably. Squire. Probably a... And it says Old English on there, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? 
Mm. Probably 40s, 50s, not mega old, but still a nice find. We found, oh, sticky the bottles. We found a piece of webbing buckle. There we go, that'd be World War II, that would. I've got a couple of these in my uh, bits and bobs pile. Got this thing, I don't know what it is. Got no, nothing on it. I bought it back because it was just different. Could be a very old but It's not a button, I don't think. But yeah, I don't know what that is. If I do find out what that is in the meantime, guys, I will come back to you if it's something important. We've got an old knife with a wooden handle. We did think it was an antler handle at first, but it is wood. But again, it's old. That's really old. Probably. If I was to guess, probably early nine, probably 1900-ish. Not mega old, but old enough. There was a boat hook found. I think Steve found it, because I think he wants to keep it for Alisa. Right. So that was a, a boat hook. That's, again, that's quite old. We had a couple of pen knives, which have actually cleaned up quite well, but they're too far gone to be able to use. But there you go. A couple of little old pen knives. We've got uh, a modern, modern key, a little uh, safe tin key. We've got a couple of shot or grape shot, yeah. um, if you want to call them them, so they're always nice to pull up. And then was actually by Windsor Castle where the original crossing was. Um, hence we was getting a lot of war shoes out of there which I gave to Alison. So that was a medieval crossing to the castle. So these could be proper muskets, these. So that's them. We've had a bailing hook, but I don't think it's mega old because it's got uh, like a... Like what do you call it? Is it wrought iron? Yeah, like a wrought iron. What do you call it now? <laughs> no, I forgot as well. It's, yeah, but it's not mega old. You can tell by the metal there, look. And uh, it's got a wooden it's handle. It's got a swirly is, effect on the metal, yeah. hasn't it? Rebar. That's it. Rebar. So yeah, it's been made. Uh, it was made years and years ago, don't get me wrong. But yeah, it's not an original Bailey knock. We've got a nice belt plaque. Now a couple of the people around us had to have quite a few belt plaques, didn't they? They did. But uh, this one's mine. <coughs> 1924. Lovely. It's still nice to find them, no matter what condition they're in um, and what year they are. Still, you got, you got to love the belt plaque. I love them. I love belt <coughs> Excuse me. We found, uh, well, Marie found this, but I managed to identify it for the week. So you can see how it bends down here and it's got a hoop around the top. And this is actually what's called a rat tail skillet handle. And this is um, Civil War, so 1640s. Um, yeah, so it's just a handle, but amazing but that is what four hundred years old there you mm -hmm. go that's where, the, that's where the pan would have been attached been nice to have pulled out the whole thing now these are tiny things i don't think you're going to get to see these very well but um i do believe that this here i don't know if you can see that stick coming off it and you can see the front of that there i do believe through my research in the past that that is a tudor button Oh, so that's going back to the 1500s. A little Tudor button. The, that stick would have gone a little bit more up, and it would have a little hoop on. And then oh. the men's shirt, like obviously collarless shirt, that have been down probably six or eight of them, right the way down. Oh. And obviously the brass has wore off that. That would have had a brass front with a like a diamond shape on the front of it. Very nice. Um. I found this tiny piece of metal. Now, I'm not going to say what I think it is yet and look silly on the camera, but there is some markings on that. It's a tiny circle. Now, some coins in this country, guys, can be as small as this going back in time. So, I'm not going to say what I think it is until I've cleaned it up. If it's anything important, again, you will see a short yes. of all the stuff that we do. Now, mystery item, guys. I've noticed there's something missing off this table as well. You okay? I'm okay, yeah, I've just noticed. I'll show you <laughs> in a minute because I've mounted that into a case. But, so, we found a mystery item. So, it's got like a little bit of a, a handle there. It's 
perfectly round. Is it an handle or is it broken off something, Matt? Or oh, is it broken off oh. something? I don't know. But inside, this however is, you want to read this it... This is intriguing. Is it either a six or a nine? So, it's about three mil thick. It's not mega thick. We was thinking along the lines of a cannonball mould at first for a six pound shot or a nine pound yeah. shot. But we've measured... The diameter of it and it doesn't match up. It doesn't match up, does it? No. So, if you can let me know what you think this may be, guys, leave it in the comments. There is still a lot of crud to remove, which I'm going to do. It might, it may have markings on the outside, I don't know, but all I've got in there at the moment is a six or a nine, okay? Um, we've got a little Asian offering, nothing special. It would have a little cap on the end and it would have been tied around the neck here and it would have had the crown. Uh, prayer inside this, so it's probably Muslim. Um, right, Marie's key. Marie's key. I've actually, I've, I'm buying picture frames and I'm mounting all of our bits into it. But Marie's key, and I found a key, Marie. So the two keys are actually in this mount. You start, yeah, you started. I started mapping, yeah. putting a few things that we collect together, guys. As you can see, I've got an old, old book all here from. Medieval up to like Second World War, but here is the key that Marie found. Unfortunately, the hoops broke a little bit. But could this be the key to Windsor Castle dungeons? Ooh. <laughs> it's always brilliant to find a key because it's got so much mystery, and it's very personal, isn't it? Yeah. Because you don't know what's behind that door. You don't know what this key. Is two, what door is two. And it's a very big old one, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. But that's a, <laughs> that's a very big key. And then I found a key. And that is this one here. And as you can see, there's some age to it. Now, I'm not amazing on dating keys. And keys are very notoriously hard to date. But I would say that Marie's key is going back quite a while. Thank Maybe you. more than mine. Thank you. But, we had a little bit of a mystery, so I was cleaning this up guys, and I don't think this was on the camera. Um, and I thought a bike light at first, mm -hmm. that's what I thought. And then I started knocking some of the crud off it. There it is. And I started knocking some of the crud off it, and I could see these vents around the side and what have you. And then I noticed here, as I was tapping the crud off, something fell off, and it was a little brass plaque. Which is this here, now let's hope I can get this in shot for you guys. And let me pronounce the name properly. Can you see that Maria? I'll put a picture on, don't worry. Amy Argand, now if I'm pronouncing that right, what I thought was a bike light, right, is actually on the diagram where he's going to show, I think it was that that way up, I think, and mounted onto something. So that brass plaque has given me so much information because Google Lens wasn't coming up with anything. Nobody knew where it was in our local circle and it wasn't until I found that little brass plaque and I typed the name into Google that we found out all this information about this amazing man um, in 1750. And I think he was Geneva, and I think he was from Geneva, something like that. But I'm real put the information up here, guys. Um, and it's actually off a lamp, isn't it? It's actually off one of the old door lamps. I'm, I'm talking the old door lamps. Yeah. But, what, 1750, say 1800, Napoleonic times. So, yeah, very, very early lamp. I would love to have found the whole lamp with the base. Yes, the glass may have been missing, but I could have had the glass made. So that's unfortunate. One day we'll find it. But, uh, yeah, beautiful piece. Not much to write on about now. But I will be keeping this little brass plaque that says Amy Argand on there. Because I think that's very personal yeah. to him. And it took a lot of workmanship just to do that little and I'll make these old lamps. It was, what, the 1700s was it? 1750 he was born, so uh, he died in 1802. So let's say, let's say eight. 1790, 1800, these was in their prime. Wow. So that's what, 300 years ago? Wow. Um, yeah, when lighting was in its prime, uh, infancy, should I say. 
But there you go guys, that's all the artefacts for this week. A big thank you to Simon Bourne, a big thank you to Nicola White for joining us. We have got other things planned Ooh. with Nicola White and with Simon, <laughs> not too far away. So, um, big love to you all. Thank you to all the new faces that have joined the channel and all the new subscribers. If you aren't subscribed, please do so because this big news we keep on about is getting closer and the subscribers you want to be part of this. So, um, big love, good health to your families and I shall see you on Sunday's live at 3pm British time and we'll have a little chat. See you later guys.